This control net method is amazing. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? In this video, I will show you how to get everything set up, how to use it and why it is useful. Also, don't forget to join my live stream tomorrow, where we'll experiment with this new method with the segmentation method on top of that. And we're going to talk about training models and LoRa's. Let's get started. First, let's have a quick look at this method. It's called reference only. The good thing here is you don't need to download a model for this. This, this is just a mapping method. Now, as you can see here, what it does is that you input a photo and then it can create other images based on that input. So you don't need to train a model. You don't need to train a LoRa. This will just create similar looking images. And it is very versatile. Down here, you can see an example that is done with anime images. And I have also done that in my example. So let's switch over here. And this, of course, as you can see, is automatic 1111. Now, the way to install that is super easy. You go to extensions and then you, of course, need to have ControlNet installed. It has to be version 1.1, the latest version. If you don't have that, check out this video where I'm showing you how to install ControlNet 1.1 and, of course, also download the models and so on. To check for updates, click on Check for Updates and then to apply the updates, click on Apply and Restart. Now, personally, I would also suggest to close the command window after that and restart Automatic 11. 11 completely because for me the new method did not show up until I restarted automatic 1111 11 completely. After that you go back here to text to image. You scroll down to your control net. You can see here I have version 1.1.159 and down here for the preprocessors in this long list you want to look for reference only. Now because this doesn't have a model there is no second choice here for the model. I found that I get good results when I click here on pixel perfect. And also I found that I get better results when I describe what I want to have a little bit. In this case, I said woman in front of colorful wall best quality. And then I use here a long negative prompt that I often use with ref animated and realistic vision. In this case, I'm using realistic vision. And now when we look at these two images side by side, you can see that it did a really good impression of that colorful wall behind. But you can also see that the woman in the image looks similar. And she also has these golden big hoop earrings and the fashion style also is similar without any of that being in the prompt. So this can actually really speed up and simplify your process. Another thing we see here in this comparison that is really interesting is that most other control net methods are very reliant, for example, on the pose of the body, on the details of the face and on the little things that you find in the image, while this creates something that looks similar, but at the same time gives us a lot of artistic freedom. For example, you can see here that the body pose is completely different and also the hairstyle is different, but they look like very similar images still. Now here I have a second example. For this, I'm using Ref Animated. I have my clip skip on two. And again, in my prompt, I'm describing this as one girl high quality masterpiece anime style white dress sun hat. So I have a little bit of a description of the style of the clothing. And as you can see here with the output, it is really close to the input. Now the amazing thing here is for this example, I didn't even use a negative prompt and still I would say I got a pretty amazing result here. And of course, because everybody's always asking me, how do you get the clip skip slider and the VAE quick choice? You need to go to settings, then on the left side to user interface. You want to scroll down until you see quick setting list. And in there you write these two things that I show you right now on the screen. Afterwards, you click on apply settings. And then when you restart your UI, you have these two choices up here. That is already for today. See you tomorrow in my live stream. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and see you soon. Bye. This new control net mod. Also, don't forget to join my live stream tomorrow. Where are we going to also check out the segmentation method and do other things. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. <laughs>
Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that. It's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.